हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू माई चैनल दिस इज नितिन पवार इन माई लास्ट वीडियो आई एव शोन यू हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट अ क्लस्टर इन योर डेटा ब्रिक्स इन दिस वीडियो विल टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू रीड द फाइल फ्रॉम योर स्टोरेज अकाउंट कंसिडर दैट योर यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू शेयर द डिटेल्स ऑफ योर स्टोरेज अकाउंट नेम एंड द अकाउंट की सो वट आई डिट आई in my key vault i already uploaded a secret for my storage account name and the account key under the storage account name and this test backup key so what i am doing over here i am creating a variable storage account name and assigning it to this key vault value using that dbutils.secrets.get so what it will do it will get the secret from my key vault for this account name so account name i get the account name or directly if you have that account name you can provide over here if you don't have the key vault and you you have not stored your account name over there then i am using the storage account access key and i am at the account key is stored over there in the secret as a test backup key and i am assigning that to the storage account access key and in my third statement i am setting those account value key using that access key so that databricks will have a connection to that azure blob storage so let me share so this is the file which i have uploaded to my blob storage and now i want to view this file using the databricks so so this run successfully now you need to assign the container suppose your storage account will have you will have containers landing or backup or anything so you need to provide that value over there for that container name and then i have a file path equals to so this is the common format as i have already mentioned this blob container storage account name over there so that's why i am just accessing those using the variable name if you have directly all the things with you you don't need to provide this plus sign you can directly using the wasbs colon double slash then your container name this landing at the rate then the storage account name whatever storage account name is there dot blob dot core dot windows dot net and then the path to your file so what happens under my file storage account name we have the landing as a container under that container i have a number of as a folder name and under that i have uploaded that file test data dot txt which is this file is data dot txt and that have four columns and have four rows so using this three firstly i am providing the container name so this container name then the file path where the file is present and then i am using a you can call it as i am calling it as a sales df or you can call it as a df or like a whatever test df anything is equals to you are reading that file so how to read that file spark dot read dot format so this is my csv format so csv dot load from where that file needs to be loaded file path so this is my file path what i want the schema should be included whatever schema present in that file that schema should be there like suppose this employee id is one so this is integer this is text field so all this schema should get included and header equals to true because my file has the header okay so once you provide these things you go ahead you run your cell now you can see that my data frame is created with employee id is integer 
string first name last name address as a string now i want to create a view on top of it this data frame so how to create that so this is my data frame name sales df dot create or replace temporary view this sales df if i execute this a view will get created so i am running the cell sales got run successfully now i want to view the data in sql so i need to provide that percent sql over there in the cell select star from this view so if i run this now you can see that my i can see all the data in the tabular format in the sql so this is how using your storage account name and your storage account key you can read the file create the data frame and view on top of that file so if you have any questions on this do let me know i'll try to answer those questions in my next video we'll show that how you can do the validations on the file meanwhile take care thank you so much